Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Fonz Talks Jersey channel. It is I, Fonz DeFalco, your Jersey connoisseur, and here we are with another week of the best uniform matchups. If you've been following since week one, well, I thank you so much for checking them out. And if you're new here, it's simple. I do the top five games of the week from each week of the NFL season, but it's not on the play itself, not on the games, not on the action, no. It's just the top five matchups on the uniforms alone, both the home and the away team. I'll link down the past weeks. If you missed out on those, definitely check those out. A lot of good ones for the first couple weeks of the season. Very, very difficult to pick a dishonorable mention. It was actually hard to pick the five to two range. The number one was very awesome for me for this week. Follow along if you want to. Comment down below which matchup you like the best. Let's get into it. Our dishonorable mention for week four of the best uniform matchups. The dishonorable mention is more on the Titans than the Bengals per se, but the Bengals uniform matchup didn't really help with the Titans one. The Titans one with the all navy look, the navy jerseys, pants down to the socks. The Bengals one with the all white look here without their white tiger helmet, which would have made it a little bit better. For me, it's the Titans uniforms overall. I don't like them. I miss the old ones. And honestly, the powder blues were the best ones out of all of them. I just don't like the numbers, the Navy helmet. doesn't fit the Tennessee Titans total that I remember. I miss those white helmets. And the Bengals ones, the all-white is not bad. It just doesn't mesh well with the Titans all-Navy. So it's a dishonorable mention. They're all, they're overall, the overall week, though, there was not really a bad, bad one. But this is the one where I was least looking at it. I was like, hmm. Not really feeling it. But the Bengals have been popular on the Fonz Talks jerseys weekly uniform matches. Their third appearance on the top five. First one, as honorable mention, this is the Titans' first and probably only appearance, only as a dishonorable mention. Into the number five matchup. The number five one was really good. This is tough to do from five to two. The one was very easy. But number five, Vikings at Panthers. The Vikings went with their home look for as an away team. Purple jerseys, white pants, and white socks. The Panthers went with the white jerseys, black pants, and black socks. And I'll say this, the Panthers brought the black pants a few years back, and it's been a hit. I do like the black pants, and it really goes well with the white jersey here, and the black socks too, and that silver helmet. And the Vikings, they've been on here so many times, three times, their third appearance on this list here. They just have nice, really nice uniforms with the white and purple combination was good. And the Panthers, their second time on this list. I don't know why, I guess the black pants go with the white jersey. Now, sometimes the white jersey, I kind of lean more towards less because I like the colorful aspect. But it goes well with these black pants and socks. I don't know why. It was a good uniform, very colorful matchup. I like this a lot. It would have been a lot higher, though, if the Panthers did go with their black alternate helmet. That would have been a really clean and crisp look. Number four matchup was actually a really good one. We got the Pittsburgh Steelers at the Houston Texans. Uniform-wise, this was good. The game itself, eh. But I will say, CJ Stroud, he's pretty good. Steelers one with our classic away white jersey, yellow pants, and black socks. But it's still a classic look. Again, as a Ravens fan, I will admit, it is a classic and timeless look. The Texans, however, went with their alternate helmet, their first time as an alternate helmet this season, the battle red helmet with the battle red jersey and the battle red socks with their white pants. This is the Texans' first ever appearance on this list this is the Steelers' second appearance. And I will say the Texans' battle red helmet, I wasn't a fan of it at first. I will say when it first came out, I didn't like it. But as time moved on after a year into it, they're wearing it more and seeing it on the field. I like the glossy red helmet with the red jersey. I just kind of like it. And I'm glad they did it with the white pants. I think if they did the all red look, I think they've done that before, where it was the red jerseys, red pants, and red socks. It would have been too much, especially with the red helmet. So the red tops, jersey, helmet, and the white pants, and the red socks, it goes well with it. And it really meshed well with the Pittsburgh Steelers outlook here. It was a nice, colorful matchup. And I kind of want the Texans to wear the red helmets more than just three times a season. Really good jersey. I think I'm getting biased here with my Ravens. But yes, they make an appearance yet again on the Fonz Talk jerseys. Top five weekly uniform matchups against the Cleveland Browns. The Ravens one with their classic white jerseys, black pants, and black socks. The Browns one with their orange helmet as per usual. The brown jerseys and the orange pants with the brown striped socks. It's a really, really good rivalry classic matchup. And look at that, the Ravens one. But again, we do not care about the actual game itself on here. The Ravens do look really good, by the way. But it's a classic look here. Again, the Ravens white top with the black pants. It's one of the classic looks. Is it the best Ravens uniform combination? No, but it is a staple for their away games. And the Browns helmets and the jerseys. Listen, brown and orange. For some reason, it works. And it does work with the Cleveland Browns here. It's way better than their white alternate helmets, I will say. But it's a nice rivalry matchup. Good combinations here. You wouldn't think the orange black purple would go together but it worked well here in this matchup and that's the case for number three ravens browns good uniform matchup number two we went to the afc east very colorful match with the miami dolphins at buffalo bills high scoring affair but again i do not care about that at all i only care about the uniform matchups the dolphins went with their white jerseys aqua pants and aqua socks the bills went with their classic blue jerseys white pants and blue socks colorful fun 
high scoring. And it was nice out too, so it kind of went well together. The Dolphins uniforms are growing on me a little bit more. Again, their throwbacks are a little bit nicer in my opinion. But, you know, the helmets and the jersey pants, it's a good combination. The aqua look, it's nice. It's very Miami vibes. And the Bills jerseys, I do like them a lot. I think I am a secret Bills fan, low-key. With the white helmet and the white face mask helped it a lot more, too. Blue jerseys, white pants, it's just overall really nice. This is the Dolphins' second appearance on the weekly uniform matchup and the Bills' first ever appearance. And I'll tell you guys this, the Bills, they're definitely going to be back on here. And the Dolphins, they will likely be back on here again in the near future. But the number one undisputed best uniform matchup from week four of the NFL season it was the Raiders at Chargers. Just a classic timeless look between both teams. Surprisingly enough, this is the first time the Chargers have made it on this channel's weekly uniform series here with the powder blue jerseys, the white pants, and the powder blue socks. The Raiders want their classic white jersey, silver pants, and the white black socks here. It's just a classic look. I know some say the Raiders jerseys are very plain, but it's historic. It's classic. It's simple white, silver, and black. You can't go wrong. You can't really mess that up. And the Chargers... I will say this as a Ravens fan, yes, but the powder blue jerseys are one of the better jerseys in the NFL. With the white pants, it was a better look. I kind of like it with the white pants over the yellow pants, in my opinion. It's just me. That's just my opinion. And with the blue socks, it was just a nice, colorful, fun matchup. And the Raiders, classic. Chargers, colorful, beautiful. It was the best uniform matchup by far. Undisputed, number one. No way fans or butts about it. And that is the five best uniform matchups from week four of the NFL season. Let me know down below which matchup did you like the best, which one didn't you like, which one should have made an appearance on the list, which one would you move. Let me know down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Fine Socks Jersey channel, people. We're thriving here. A little over a month into the channel's debut, and it's been doing really well. I love doing this stuff. It's a lot of fun. I've always wanted to do jersey videos on this channel. Got a lot more than just the weekly uniform match. I did the NFL color rush uniforms. If you haven't checked them out yet, go ahead. I've done previews for new leagues. Definitely check those out if you haven't. I got a lot of the other video ideas in the chamber ready to go. I can't wait to share them with you guys. Comment down below. Share it with people. Tell a friend. Follow the Fonz Talks Jersey Instagram page at Fonz Talks Jerseys. And if you like my other stuff, check out the Slick Back Kickback Report, my own podcast where we get your podcasts. Also on YouTube, it'll be down below. And also my Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, X, at Fonz DeFalco. It's all down below. It's very, very simple. If you have a suggestion for a video or a comment or anything you want me to talk about a certain team or do a list or whatever, definitely shoot an Instagram DM on Fonz Talks Jerseys to give me a suggestion. Or you can comment down below. I want to hear from the people. Let me know what you want me to talk about as far as uniforms and jerseys. With that, have a good day, good night, good evening. Whenever you're watching this video, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Love y'all. And uh, go Ravens.